Capricorn, Capricorn, oh Capricorn, what is going on? How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome. I'm Patrick. I'm your uh, tarot psychic channeler reader. I had to think about that sometimes, you know, because I do a lot of different things, mediumship, things like that. All for you guys, for me and for you, for us, we're a family, right? We're all one. I put out some workout videos today. Check them out, y'all. Please, please, please. Um, they're quick. They're easy. Uh, I, I really emphasize a lot with my workouts um, efficiency and least time possible in the gym. Not that I you know, I love spending a lot of time in the gym, but I know it helps. And also, I'm an adult. I have a, well, kind of an adult. I'm adultish. I got adult things going on, kind of. I look like one. But you get what I'm saying. I know you all have things going on, and I want to help you, especially in this new year. To get in and out of the gym and have maximum efficiency and uh, changing the body. But with that said, let's get into this psychic tarot reading, y'all. The title I have for you guys right now is, How You Doing? Love, 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 and Finance. How you doing? Hmm? Capricorn, how you doing? Right? Someone's not a player, actually, at all. Uh, I think someone thinks they're, they're a player, but... but a lot like Joey Tribbiani, y'all, and that's uh, kind of how I channel with it. He's insecure. A lot of insecurity. And, oh, see? See what happens, everybody? Let's fix that. And I'm going to turn it this way a little bit. Here we go. Okay. There we go. So what just happened is I have it plugged in and the thing fell off. But... <clears throat> obviously I'm not insecure, but whoever this is out there, you're a little insecure. That's okay. It's okay. Cause remember Joey Tribbiani is an actor. Oh my God. That I can speak for in, uh, in full actors are insecure. I don't care what level you get on. I was just watching something earlier with, uh, Tom Ellis who played, um, Lucifer. Right. And he even said like when it got canceled, the show got canceled and he made this tweet and I don't know if he was allowed to or not to or what, but he did it. And he said he went and just, I felt like the world was over. You know, we all think we're the most important person in the world in our universe. And yes, you are in your universe, Capricorn. All righty. But there are 7 billion people on the planet. Now, I'm not saying you have to like look out for all of them or anything, but you get what I'm saying. We feel this anxiety of like, oh, and uh, he probably thought he was going to be fired or this or that. No, that tweet alone is what put Lucifer back on with Netflix. Like, I don't want to say that was the only thing, but it helped. Okay. So. How many, you're fighting your insecurity, but you're not at the same time. You have kind of a puffed up chest with it. That's okay. You do you. Crazy that we just said Capricorn. Uh, we're known as what? The devil energy, right? In, in tarot. Really the goat, as I like to say it. The greatest of all time. Oh, yeah. Tom Ellis playing. And that it's interesting how this all works out, right? Let's get into the love thing. What are you so in insecure about with love? I am getting some of that, that what I call Joey Tribbiani energy. That you're, you're smooth, you're cool. And ladies and men watching, uh, you know, you have this confidence about it, but you know what you're doing. Like, Joey knows he's not going to have a relationship with any of these women, but he's picking them up. How could he? He has no income. I'm not saying it's you, but he had no income, right? He was living on a dream, which is great. Don't get me wrong. I fucking love that. Um, but he was living off his friends. And that's why that was his tight community like that. Now, some of you are kind of living that way, that lifestyle. It's not even a bohemian lifestyle. Um, kind of like your life is on the rocks, but it's not. It feels that way. Just calm yourself down, sit, meditate for a moment. And this, I would actually say, I'm not, make a little list of all the things you have that are great, right? And you'll see you have a lot more than you think, especially with this new year going here, Capricorn. All right, all right. It's funny, this whole, in, I get this whole insecurity thing, much, you know what you're doing. You're not a player, but you know what you're doing. And you just want sex, which is fine, you know, but be honest. Who says the other person doesn't want sex? Remember, you attract who you are, not what you want. So you're probably attracting the same kind of person. Now, it's funny because I also got love, love, love for the reading here as well. And uh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised because you are, you want love. You're going to attract a person a lot like you, but something about the honesty you're going to share 
and they'll share. And yes, there's always going to be certain secrets, certain viewpoints. People only uh, uh, give the, their best viewpoint and they justify it themselves, of course. Humans, it's what we do, right? But you're going to see something special in them. Men, women, men, men, women, women everyone watching. It's going to be really glorious. I'm really happy for you, Capricorn. I'm really, really happy for you. And it starts with you, right? You are going to say something honest. Maybe because of this reading or maybe because you've already been thinking about it. And it's going to be really great. Oh, I'm so happy for you all. I'm going to start with the Love Oracle decks right here. Okay. And as always, please like, share, subscribe. If you're watching me on Tickety Talk, check out the full video on YouTube. If you're watching me on YouTube, hey, how you doing? Let's friend me, y'all. Let's be friends. Let's hang out. Share stories. It was just 555 on the, on the clock over here. You know what I would love to hear? I would love to hear your what people call paranormal or supernatural stories, right? I see, yes, thank you. I hear it. I see sparkly beings around me all the time. I've seen some other crazy, just awesome stuff. I know you have too. Uh, you can email me, mcdaniel.pat, m-c-d-a-n-i-e-l.pat, p-a-t, at gmail.com. Email me the story, right? Or even make it in the comments here and we'll, uh, you know, I'll try to share it for everybody. It helps, man. It helps so much. I promise. I'm going to show for this one more time. Boom. I'm going to pull right off the top here. This is where we're going. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Interesting. You know, we were just saying about the insecurity of things. Th does that stem from, from your family and parents? What Was it um, single parent, right? I'm not, for some of you, I get that, yeah. They're estranged in a way, and if not, cool. But where's that insecurity coming from? Well, I'm not insecure, what are you talking about? Eh. You know, for someone who can admit their insecurities are far stronger. You know, I, I <laughs> briefly dated this girl once who, I'm a bodybuilder, I'm a physique guy. She was 22. She's never had life experience. And it was cute because she tried to do that little like dagger thing. And I learned like, okay, I'm just done with this now. With her, with like, not dating in general, I'm just, but she said, you know, I think you're really insecure because you, you always talk about working out in your body and things. And I went, you know what? You're absolutely right. I really appreciate that. I appreciate your honesty. She hated it. You can't hurt me. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, that's what I'm kind of getting with you is there's this kind of, some of you, there's a pumped up like chest, right? And that's part of the, the healing issues. It's not just a family thing. I think it's your family. I think it's you, your soul family self as well. Okay. And I don't like the word healing, by the way. Nothing's wrong with us. Um, it, you know, it's not like, like think of a broken arm. You didn't plan on breaking it. Not that anyone's breaking their arm, but you get what I'm saying. It happens. But now you are knowledgeable of it. Now you are aware of it there, Capricorn, right? Right. Forgiving and learning. That's, what did we just say? Holy crap. We just literally said this, didn't we? I love how this works. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. There you go. Talk about releasing something. Easier said than done, right? I, I personally... Uh, I've released it, but man, I've learned from it. I think learning is the most important. And yeah, we have those moments where like, F you, F you, you're cool. You know what I'm saying? But to truly sit and learn from that. Like again, like the young lady I was just talking about. I'm not done dating. I'm not celibate. But man, I am extremely picky now on who I let into my life. And I don't use Bumble or any of those apps anymore. You know, being psychic, one of the main things that I see, they're not only insecurity there, Capricorn, people are crazy, man. And they're, yes, <laughs> and they're crazy in a good way. I'm as guilty as anyone, right? And some are just, they know exactly what they're doing. Stalkers, things like that. And it, it's, man, they're surrounded by us. Like, I would not recommend you uh, Googling like the sex offender list around your house. It's even weirder. But being psychic and being around someone and hearing and smelling and tasting and knowing their thoughts, it's it's funny because I come from it from an aspect I want to help, right? But, you know, I can lead a horse to water, but I can't force it to drink. So now I have to learn. It's not even protecting myself. I'm just 
very particular, very choosy on the energies I let in. Right, Capricorn? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. And that's the shift you're making right there. You're going from the how you doing to the, uh, oh, oh, no, I just got the how you doing to looking in the mirror and literally asking yourself, how are you doing to you? That's tough to do. Good for you. Good for you to go within. Look within. I'm going to pull one more here. You deserve love. You are lovable. And that's that inner uh, introspection that we're talking about right there. Learning. Knowing thyself. That's a really tough thing to do. I always thought I knew it. The thing is, yes, I've always known it. And so do you. But you know it to a certain degree or a certain level, Right? Because each day is a new learning experience. And therefore, you grow and grow and grow. Um, you can actually make a decision and a point to want to, to grow, right? Or you can just live your life and, and learn from that. The hardest part to that right there is not letting it control your emotions. Nothing's wrong with emotions, right? I call myself an emotional athlete. I, I'm an actor. I've done that for years. I've trained to use these emotions. Human beings haven't. They think they're stoic and they're not. They, they, mm -mm. I don't even need to say any more. You already know, Capricorn. You already know. I'll tell you what, let's jump into your finances. Okay. Let's see how that's going to go. And to do that, I'm going to use the angel oracle cards here. All right. Woo! And as always, please like, share, subscribe. Man, I'm really grateful for y'all. I really appreciate you watching. Happy Saturday or whatever day you're watching this. All right. I'm going to pull right off the top here. Nice. Take Taking the next step. Bold and ambitious choices. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Expanding your plans. Continue to move forward. Awesome. Two of wands right here. And look at this. Look at this. I have two guys here which is great, but no, this is men, women, everyone watching. Like we said, you're meeting someone. You're going to be very honest with them, and you're moving forward. The two of you are not trauma, not trauma bond at all. You're open and honestly going to communicate something wonderful with each other, and you're going to be able to move forward, hold on to the world. That is going to make so much magic for you all. Things are going to come to you so quickly, and I mean ideas, uh, money, finances. The, it, 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 it's outrageous what that energy does. Thank you. As I heard my guides over here yell, outrageous. It's going to come to you so quickly. You're like, not now. Not, but no, it is. It is. Believe. Believe, believe. Right there. That deck right there. Believe in your own magic. Remember that. Okay? Let me pull one more. Perfect. Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God. You saw me shuffle. Ace of Pentacles. A windfall of abundance, wise counsel or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or vehicle. It's happening. It is happening. It is happening for you all. I promise. I promise it is. Look at this. You're following the yellow brick road right there, right? You're Dorothy. But it's your innocence too. It's like you're, you're, you're capturing that love, that, that innocence again. And the rabbit here is your fertile. Right? And, and abundant in many, many different things. And you're learning. What were you we just saying about learning? She's carrying that book, which is a pinnacle, right? But you're not letting your emotions, you're not being stoic. You're not like pushing your emotions down, but you're, you're literally expressing them and contemplating on them. Why is it? I'm seeing like, like David, the statue, the thinker. And you're literally breaking it down honestly in many different viewpoints. And, and stepping forward with the, with the best foot forward. You and your partner. Men, men, women, 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 men, men. The whole, the whole kit and caboodle here, guys. And you're leading into it, the White House, right? And I forget what the White House uh, signifies. It's, a, it's purity. It's this new home. But it's you. It's your house. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying like, like ancient Rome, this is my house. But maybe you are doing that. But you're not hurting people. Right? You're not gonna you're not gonna brand them or anything like that, the house of Batiatis. You're already on the path too. And the roses, those are your passion. That's your passion. This is a passion that you're doing. Some of you, it's a passion you didn't even know you had. 
And then you started doing it and you were like, whoa, someone's a tarot card reader too, or a psychic. That's great, 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 go for it, you know? What I hear is kind of stop, like, well, how am I gonna get paid? What about the money? What, just make the video, go for it, have fun, you know? And you'll make one every day and then before you know it, you have, you know, uh, 100,000 subscribers or something, you know what I'm saying? It'll work, it's gonna work. And this, this collaboration that you're having with someone, uh, love, it's, it's how you doing? <laughs> it's really fantastic, y'all. It's really, really great. So much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. Whatever anxiety, again, the insecurity, anxiety, things, it, it, it's subsiding. And you're going to be dancing in life. And there's more roses surrounding everyone here. And good. Um, four of wands right here. Okay. This to me is also stability. It's your magic. I think it, 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 it's not what you least expect it, but you're going it, to, it, it's going to hit you. You're going to be like, oh my goodness, that guy talked about it. That guy, Patrick, the, the tarot, he, he, this is what he said and it's happening. So that's great. Again, another house, that's your house in here and you're sharing it. And again, it's because you're innocence. You're kind of getting back into your, your, your kid self that where everything is magical, you know? And it, it, you're really embracing the dance of life. And I see that it's a Spanish dance too. It's, it's really like, it's it. Uh, I'm getting like salsa, but also I'm getting like flamingo dancing or that, uh, it's not tap dancing, but uh, what is it? Is it flamingo? It might be flamenco dancing, right? Or the tango, but it's amazing. And all the, you guys are looking in the same direction. You're not looking away from each other. You're looking in the same direction, dancing in the same direction right there, right? Well, Capricorn, I'll leave right there for you all. Great read, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please like, share, subscribe, and until uh, next time.